Hello, welcome to your first online lab of Physics 2. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't like online labs. I prefer in person, but I don't really have a say in it this time. Um, we are going to be... Online labs would be kind of weird how they work. For the most part, there is always going to be a video as well as a PDF and the actual assignment itself. Sorry, I said PDF. I meant a PowerPoint in the... A video, a PowerPoint in the actual assignment itself. I always recommend before doing anything with the assignment, you should first go through the PowerPoint, you should then do the video, you should then look at the lab. These videos will not walk you through analyzing the data. At least it might a little bit hint at it, but not much. What these videos will do is they will walk you through collecting the data so that you don't have to do it yourself since you're home. Um, today's is going to be a really annoying one because it involves doing some drawings that normally I would hand you the piece of paper that you have to draw on and you would do it, but here that's not really an option. The, the files are online, you can find them, either print, draw, then scan, by scan I mean just take a picture and upload it, or if you want you could edit these pictures just digitally in any sort of program you want. You just need to draw dots and lines, nothing fancy. So I mean you could do it in paint for all I care and it should look good enough. Um, what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at electric field lines around two different setups, two point charges, and also um, and also a slightly more complex shape that I'll come back to in a second. How we're going to do this, I'm going to use a special conductive paper with my point charges that I'm going to, well, charge. You can't see it because it's slightly out of the shot, but I have a power supply hooked up to a 12 volt power supply. What I'm going to do is I am going to put those 12 volts right into this electrode. I'm then going to put the negative side of that into my other electrode, which didn't realize it didn't reach, as well as another attachment that I'll explain what it is in a split second. You know, maybe I shouldn't have done this live so that you don't see me struggling. Okay, this wire that you just saw me grab, I'm going to put into a digital multimeter. And I'm going to take the other side of this digital multimeter, and I'm going to hook it up to what is called a test lead. Basically, it is just a pointy bit. I'll then go and take my multimeter, and I am going to be looking at volts. And so I'm going to set it to look at volts, and I will power on. What I'm now doing is I am putting 12 volts between here and here. And what you can see is since the multimeter is going to measure the potential difference between this point and this point, where it's giving me 12, or at least pretty close to 12 at the positive, and giving me, so I'm gonna kind of pause real fast, and giving me basically zero here. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be looking for electric, um, I'm gonna be looking at spots that have very set number of voltages. I'm gonna find multiple spots that have read nine volt. And what I want you to do is on this video, I'm gonna go through and pause at them. And on your piece of paper, you're gonna mark these points. And then you can do a game of connect the dots. I'll come back to that in a second. So I'm gonna start by finding areas that are nine volts, or at least close enough. So here's my first one. Now this is all gridded, and the paper has the same grid to make your life easy. So this is at about six and 8.5. Um, eight comma nine. Eight comma eleven ish, and I'm doing x than y as standard. Five and a quarter comma twelve. Now, what I want you to do is mark those on your piece of paper, and then you're just going to connect those. Those are called equal potential lines because it's a line where everything has the same 
potential. Don't just go in, in, jagged, but assume they'd be rounded and try to do, make it lo logical rounded. Um, I'm now gonna find a bunch of spots that have eight volts. I'm on the wrong way. Up here. Um, six comma five. Eight comma seven. Eight and two thirds comma nine. Eight comma twelve. Six fourteen. Okay, that is my eight volt sections. Let's do some sevens. I'm sorry you guys don't get to do this yourself. Not that this is that exciting, I know. But it does seem kind of dumb to do it like this. Okay, uh, nine comma a half. Ten comma 5.5. Wrong way. I know what I'm doing. Uh, 1110, that's good enough. Ooh, wow, that was good. 1014. I like this one. Oh, I am good. Uh, eight and a half, 19 and a half. Okay, those are my sevens. Let's do six. I smack my head. Six should be the halfway point because we're going to be we have twelve volts total, so it should be pretty close to that. Okay, thirteen two. Thirteen and a half. Eight. Twelve and three quarters, ten. That's pretty close. Thirteen, fifteen is close enough. And this one's pretty close at 13, 19. Okay, that was six. So we'll go to five. Sixteen comma just shy of two. Getting those official measurements now. Fifteen and a half, seven. Fifteen and a half, twelve. Seventeen, eighteen. And we're going to four. You know this is the best YouTube video you've seen today. Okay. Twenty and a half, two. Eight 
18 and a quarter, seven and a half. Nineteen thirteen. Twenty two and a half, eighteen and a half. And we're going to end with three. Twenty-five, six and a half. Twenty and a half, seven and a half. Twenty ten. Mm. Twenty, tiny bit more than ten. Twenty one twelve and run with this one. Twenty three and a half thirteen. So mark those there. What I'm then gonna ask you to do is mark, connect in circles all of the equal potential lines. Once you do that, you can draw the electric field lines. How to draw the electric field lines is you're gonna go and you're just gonna draw lines that and I, it's written in right here. But follow, this is follow the rules written above. Follow the rules written in the lab. They are listed somewhere, right there. Um, you're then gonna do the same basic thing. And I apologize, because I'm sure you're already bored of this video. For this setup instead. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna look for the equal potential lines. Um, I'm going to start with going for the same number, so start with looking for areas of 9 volts. I turned off the power supply. Yeah, turning on the power supply, useful. I'm sure it won't be the last one of these videos that you see me confused for a split second and that's what the answer is. Okay, 6, 8. Seven and a half, ten. Six, eleven and a half. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with. Well, no, nah, I'm not. That was enough to go. Now I'll go for eight. Six, seven. Six and a half, eight and a half. Eight and a smidge, ten. Oh, wait. I'll take that back. Just eight, ten. This thing is super sensitive. That doesn't help because I'm putting my hand on it. It's probably messing it up. Okay. Seven and a half, twelve. There you go. Possible source of L. I'm lazy and keep putting my hand down. Six, thirteen and a half. And I'll go for seven. Uh, seven four. Nine eight. 
9 and a smidge 10. Eight and a half thirteen. Six and a half sixteen. So I do this, all I can think of those people who haven't had me in class before, and this is the first dealing with me, and I'm just like, what is this guy just saying numbers? I apologize. Okay, uh, going for six, we have nine one. Trust me, this is as boring to create as it is to watch. 10 Nine and a half, seventeen and a half. You can see that the six is pushed much further over now. As I try to act like, you know, I'm just sitting in a room talking to myself. Okay, going for five. Twelve, one and a half. Uh, twelve and a half, eight. Five and a half, eleven. Twelve and like a quarter, seventeen. It's five, so we'll go to four. Fifteen, three. Fifteen eight. Just shy of fifteen thirteen. Fifteen seventeen. And three, the last one. And then dear God I can stop. Fifteen fifteen and a half two. Fifteen and a half seven. Fifteen and a half twelve. Fifteen and a half seventeen. So same thing, make your equal potential lines, and then once you get your equal potential lines, draw your electric field lines. I promise not all of them will be this boring to watch.